if you're planning to take up radiology be prepared because uh, it's a very competitive field you have some of the best minds uh, you know in medicine here hi guys and today we have a very very special guest dr divya singh a consultant radiologist at prime imaging and prenatal diagnostics thanks for joining hi shivam i'm delighted to be here okay so today we will talk about taking up radiology as a specialization after mbbs so let's begin firstly like what can a student expect from radiology well uh, if you're planning to take up radiology be prepared because uh, it's a very competitive field you have some of the best minds uh, you know in medicine here and uh, it requires you to be uh, very inquisitive it requires you to be uh, you know constantly up to date because you have to up t- up, uh, update your knowledge as well as your equipment you need to be a voracious reader you have to read not only your routine books you have to go through journals attend conferences cmes webinars and what not and uh, you have to be uh, good at communication because at the end of the day whatever you um, know or whatever you see has to be put down well and communicated to the referring physician okay and uh, according to you which type of students should take up radiology well uh, i think radiology should only be taken up if you're passionate about it and um, if you again have an uh, eye for detail because uh, this is something that would require you to be uh, very vigilant and it would require you to go through lots and lots of similar looking images so you have to be somebody who is very observant by nature and is uh, ready to put in a lot of hard work and uh, of course you have long grueling working hours so you have to be somebody who is up for the challenge okay so you are a person who has seen it all so what do you think does radiology demand a certain skill yes uh, radiology does demand a certain level of skill as i said earlier you need to have very good communication skills because uh, even when you are uh, training you need to present cases on almost a daily basis and it's very important that uh, whatever you've read in the book is expressed very well so yes uh, it does demand a certain degree of skill okay so would you like to talk about something uh, which you didn't know before taking up radiology and you wished that you knew it earlier well uh, i'll be quite honest i think most people would agree that uh, during mbbs days you uh, hardly come in contact with radiology so as a result you don't have much of an idea about radiology and personally even i didn't have much clue about it except for the few odd lectures that we had during our mbbs days but now when i think about it i think it didn't really matter because uh, i don't think there is anything that i would have liked to know beforehand which would have changed my decision anyway so there isn't anything which would have changed my decision if i had known it in advance okay and how was your experience of pursuing radiology if you had to like talk about it in short well uh, the experience was quite intense if i may say so uh there was a lot of academics because uh, the institution where i did my post graduation has a whole lot of uh, workload but it was a very enriching experience because i got to so uh, got to see a large number of cases and we had uh, long working hours but uh, that kind of prepared us for the responsibility that we have to shoulder when we start our professional life so walking out of the uh, portals of that institution made me a very confident radiologist so i'm very grateful for all the experience that i had during my post graduation days because uh, that is what has brought me here so far yeah okay lastly like any advice for the pg aspirants like as you said that during your mbbs you actually don't get much exposure to this domain so any advices for the pg aspirants who would uh, like to choose this specialization yes i think if you are opting for radiology one thing you need to understand is that um, you need to have a very high rank in order to get radiology so you would need to work really extra hard if you are aiming for radiology and uh, of course radiology has a lot to offer as i said uh, you it's not only confined to making a diagnosis these days but you are actually actively involved in patient care so you should opt for this branch if you want to have a good mix of uh, diagnostic and interventional uh, experience and uh, of course uh, one has to stick to the basics because at the end of the day you have to crack the entrance exam so right from your mbbs days actually you should start focusing and you should be focused because you need to you know go into in depth uh, knowledge of all your subjects if you are to secure a good rank 
And also remember that you may think that radiology is not that clinical, but it is a very clinical branch. So even when you are uh, attending your clinics during your MBBS days, please be meticulous, please be focused because actually your patients are your best books. So the books cannot teach you as much as a patient can. So be very focused in your MBBS and if you've, uh, you know, done all your basics right, you will hopefully be in radiology. Okay, so that was a great conversation. So this is the end and I hope the audience got a great idea about radiology. Thank you, Dr. Divya. Thank you. Pleasure is mine.